Well, welcome to week four. Today we're going to start off by talking about negation. Okay, so starting with negation, we'll see that negation flips or inverts the truth value of a sentence. Take this sentence which says that B is a cube. If we negate it by putting this little sign in front, then it's true just in case B is not a cube, so it's a dodecahedron or a tetrahedron. We can think of negation as flipping the truth value of the sentence. If B is in fact a cube, then not cube B is false. And if B isn't a cube, then not cube B is true. Here's a way of thinking about this using what we call truth tables. So take a sentence A, this could be any sentence, like B is a cube, and it's negation, not A. Now here are all the ways that this could work out. Suppose that A is true, then not A is false. Suppose that A is false, then not A is true. And that's just how negation works. Now, notice that sentences like B isn't a cube, B is not a cube, or the wordier, it's not the case that B is a cube, will all be the same as this, not cube B. We can apply negation to even more complicated sentences, like the following. A is between B and C, which is true just in case B is on one side, C is on the other, and A is in between them. So if it's true, then this is false, not between A, B, C. But any other conditions that make this false make the negation true. So if A isn't between B and C, then not between A, B, C is true. So the important thing to bear in mind is just negation applies to a sentence and gives you the opposite truth value of the original sentence. If it's true, it becomes false. If it's false, it becomes true. That's how negation works.